Hello, this is uh, Mr. Zhang the, from Visa in Korea. Not long ago, the Korean government announced uh, in a newspaper that the number of uh, international students studying in Korea exceeded uh, 150,000. It is said that the number of people decreased by more than 6,000 and uh, compared to last year because of the COVID-19. Uh, the international student who will make a Zoom call today is a foreign student studying to obtain a master's degree in Korea. Let's connect. What question to ask? Hello? Hello, Mr. Zhang. Uh, these days, the weather has become very chilly. So be careful with the call. Uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, Anna uh, is also careful of a cold. What is your question today? Uh, yes, I came to study at the university graduate school in Seoul this fourth semester. Uh, living in Korea is not easy because it's my first time living in Korea. Uh, can I invite my mother from abroad to Korea to stay for a long time? Uh, I think uh, you are in Korea on a, a D23 visa, right? So, yeah. do you have a husband and a child in Korea? Yes, my husband and daughter are living in Korea together. Uh, yes, you are currently in your master's course and your husband and daughter are living in Korea together with you. Mm, yes, that's right. Okay, uh, the, first of all, if uh, three people are the staying in Korea except for your mother who will come to Korea, uh, you can invite your mother to the long-term visa such as so F-115 visa if you prove the expenses for staying. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, is, is F-115 visa a visa that allow her stay for a long time rather than staying for less than 30, 90 days such as a C-3 visa, right? Oh, uh, yes, that's right. And however, there are two conditions you must be met. What are the conditions? Okay, in the first, uh, you must have been studying in Korea for at least six months uh, in the master's program. I haven't been a few months, so I can invite my mother now. So can I invite my mother next year after six months? Uh, yes, that's right. Um, you can invite your mother after six months of studying. Okay, so what is the second condition? Uh, for the last condition, uh, you must prove that you have 50% of the previous year's gross national income. Uh, it is about 90 million won in Korea in addition to your tuition. Mm, so, so I have to have 90 million won ex excluding tuition. So if so, uh, can I save my money by working part-time as a part-time employee? Uh, if you report to the immigration office and uh, get a part-time job permit and have more than 90 million won in, in, in Korea, and you can apply uh, for the F-115. Uh, however, did you know that the tuition fees must be remitted abroad except in special cases, right? Mm, yes, I know. Mm. Okay. I, I still have, I, I mean, I still have some time, so I think I need to plan and prepare. Uh, by the way, if I get a master's degree and change it to E71 visa, then can, I, can my mother continue to stay in Korea? Uh, the first of all, in order to invite your mother on an E-71 visa, uh, you must prove that your income for the previous year should be at least twice the gross national income. It means a double GNI. However, if you have obtained a bachelor's degree or master's and PhD degree in Korea, and then you change it to an E-71 visa, you may invite your mother if the previous year's income is more than one time of GNI.
one time, one time of a GNI. Okay, thank you so much. I have to prepare and invite my mother later. Thank you so much, Mr. Zhang. Yes, I think that if you prepare well, you will be able to invite your mother enough. Uh, it was uh, Mr. Zhang from Visa in Korea kindly subscribe us. Thank you.